Hey, Tyler from Less Annoying Business here. Um, in this video, I'm just going to show you the real process of me producing a podcast um, episode. It normally takes something like 10 minutes. We'll see how long it takes here. And I uh, just to like give you the the real authentic experience here, I haven't prepared for this really at all with the exception of one little thing. So this is the actual process of me producing a real episode for real. Um, okay, so... First, I use uh, Zencaster. Rick, Rick is my co-host. Rick and I use Zencaster to record our podcast. We just finished recording it, and so you can kind of finish. See here, there's a track from me and a track from Rick. Um, so Zencaster handles recording everything and uploads it to the cloud. The only thing you have to do now is go to produce your podcast and just select the tracks you want. I'm using Soundboard because we had like some listener questions, and that's what that is. But if you don't have listener questions, you just do these two tracks. Um, I already, this is the only part of this I did in advance. And that is because most of the time it happens very quickly, but sometimes it takes a little while to produce it. What happens when it produces it is it takes both or however many tracks you're mixing together. It puts them all together and it does all the levels and just makes them sound good. So hopefully you use a good mic and it sounds good, but this will make it sound a little bit better. Okay. So you produce that. Um, and we, and I have it set up to automatically sync that to uh, a folder on my computer via Dropbox. So this is the final version. If I didn't do that, I could just download the uh, produced version here. Okay, the next thing I do, our podcast has the format of there, I do an intro, then we play this like intro music, which is the same every time, and then we play the real episode. So I record the intro after we record the episode so that I know what we actually talk about. So I'm gonna click new recording here. I'm gonna record this in Zencaster. Um, okay, and then I'm going to pull up this other tab here. I have these notes uh, where I just write down like what my uh, what I'm going to say in this. So here we go. So I'm just going to hit start recording. Three, two, one, and I'm just going to read this up here. Um, we're going to be a bit self-indulgent this week. This is our 100th episode, and so in this episode we reflect on the experience and share what we've learned. Let's go. And I stop it. If I mess up, I'll just try multiple takes in one go. Um, I'm going to edit it later, so it's fine if there's extra talking and stuff in there. But that's it. So I just recorded the intro. I'm going to click produce that. And so again, this is going to just get the levels good and sync it down to my computer. So that's all I needed Zencaster for. I'm done with Zencaster now. Um, so what's next is I'm going to open up a program called Audacity. This is a free uh, kind of audio editing tool. Here it is right here. It's open source. It's very ugly and honestly kind of hard to use, but it's just fine. It gets the job done. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, this is the the first, the, the, the main podcast episode, which is like an hour long. I'm going to put that audio into, Zen, in, into Audacity. This is going to take just a second because it's it hasn't actually synced it down from uh, from the cloud from Dropbox servers yet. So bear with me here. I told you I'm I'm giving you the real experience, right? <laughs> uh, and then while that's happening, um, oh, looks like it's done there. So, okay. This is the whole, you know, the main uh, episode. There's two other tracks I need to import. One is the intro I just recorded. So you can see this is already synced down. This is that the thing you heard me record. Um, so I'm going to move that into here. This should go a little bit faster because it's a shorter audio file, hopefully. Um, and then the final thing I'm going to do is the intro music. Um, and it's it's intro music with me and Rick talking over it, so it's a little bit more than that, but it's pre-recorded. Uh, oh, sorry, I needed to do this. Okay. So what we've got here is the full episode and the intro, I just, like the one time, like the episode specific intro. And then I'm going to um, t -t 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 come here. So I have this file I've already recorded. It's our intro music with the, with the voiceover. So I'm just going to drag that in there as well. So I've got all three of these files in here. Okay, now... I just need to move them to kind of work together. You're not going to be able to hear the audio that I can hear. Um, so, you know, apologies for that, but I don't think it'll be a big deal. Uh, so what I'm going to do, you can use this little move tool to move stuff around. It's going to go in this order. This is the episode specific intro, uh, then the intro song, and then the actual episode. So first I'm going to cut out 
I'm listening to the beginning. Okay, so the actual audio starts with this, uh, where this big line is. So I'm going to delete that stuff and just play it one more time. Okay, so that's the intro. Great. Now I'm going to take the intro music and put it over this. So uh, if you recall, at the end of it, I say, let's go. That's kind of how I end this intro. And so again, you can't hear it, sorry. But when I say, let's go, the music fades in and it starts playing. And now I just need to put the real uh, episode here. So I'm going to listen to it and find out that the actual, that first bit of audio was like me and Rick talking. So I don't want that. So I'm going to delete that. And then I just need to line it up so that when the music stops and I'm playing it here, Rick starts talking and I'll move it a little bit more. That looks good to me. So that's it. That's all the editing I do. Um, if we had had a mess up during the episode, so for example, sometimes the internet cuts out and uh, you know we need to like cut something out or you know, you know whatever, I, I would go in and do that. Like I, I could go in here and say, oh, I want to remove this part of it. But uh, in this case, we recorded the whole episode and there weren't really any problems. So there's nothing else to do. Just episode specific intro, intro music, and then the actual recording. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm gonna save the project. Uh, this is gonna save the Audacity project. It's not actually in like a usable format just yet. So uh, I, I'm gonna have to save it and then export it. So I'm doing um, 100. Um, I just have a folder for each episode, as you can see here. Uh, it doesn't matter what you call it because none of this is gonna show up anywhere else. So I'll just call this 100. So this is saving the Audacity file. So if I need to come back in and edit anything later, I can do it. And then what I need to do is export it as an MP3. And I'm going to do that into the same folder, 100.mp3. Great. This step does take a little bit um, because as it's turning it into an MP3. So while we're going through that, I am going to... Um, fill out the actual episode information in Transistor. So I use Transistor.fm to, uh, that's what we actually host the episodes in. So over here in my Notion doc, I'd already written up what the title's going to be, what we've learned about podcasting after 100 episodes. I'm going to make the, uh, the description, the episode summary, the same as the description I read at the beginning. Um, but I don't say let's go because that would be weird there. And then I enter show notes here. Um, the way I do it, we use Notion uh, to kind of keep track of um, what topics we talk about. And as we complete topics, we mark them as completed here. So I already have a list of everything we talked about, and I just copy them over here. So a uh, new mic is going to be Tyler has a new mic. Uh, that's it. <laughs> um, and we've got uh, actually these two are out of order, but... Tyler is in the middle of the uh, final round of interviews for his new dev hire, and he's starting to plan onboarding. Uh, and then we discuss whether to put a new LACRM content project on the main uh, lessannoyingcrm.com domain or a separate mini site. These, if you choose to listen to this episode, these <laughs> points will make more sense. Um, and then Rick gave a couple updates. Uh, Rick finished uh, taking his JavaScript course and Rick's dad is in town and he's taking a bit of time off work. And then uh, we discuss a trick for getting people to complete online courses. We reflect on what we've learned after recording 100 episodes of this podcast. Okay, so I realize that was a bit tedious for you to watch, but the point is like literally that's it. This is me creating, uh, producing the podcast. And then at this point, oh, I also am going to mark it we normally use uh, some naughty words, so uh, I'm, not, I'm gonna mark it as explicit content. Uh, and then presumably the, uh, it should have, you know, if I pull up Audacity, yeah, it has finished exporting to MP3. So now all I have to do 
is find that. Here it is. And drag it to right here in the transistor thing. So all of this is the information you need for publishing a podcast episode. Title, the file, summary, description. I check this. And that's that. Uh, now I can hit save and publish now. This thing is going to uh, pulse as it's processing the audio. So if it's done soon, what I, I'll, I'll normally play it just to listen to it to make sure I like uploaded the right file. Uh, it would be pretty embarrassing to not do that. Uh, but that's it. Just to summarize one more time, I produce stuff in Zencaster. I put all the different pieces together in... Um, uh, Audacity, and then I came to trans Transistor and uploaded it and wrote show notes. We're at uh, 11 minutes here, but obviously I did a little bit of talking here that I wouldn't normally. So really, 10 minutes is all it takes to produce one of these podcast episodes. Let me know if you have any questions. See ya.